Warning, you are about to enter the BGP suite. No thongs, no boy shorts, no thigh highs, no commandos are permissible. BGP, big girl panties only. So pull up to woman up. And no, please don't leave with your panties in a bun. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome to BGP. I just want to jump into this topic just running. I don't know if you noticed, but every day and for the last week and a half, every time I turned on social media, there was discussion coming from Irv Gotti. Mm. Irv Gotti on some 20-year-old kiss and tell type stuff. Um, I, I just thought... Gosh, why is he doing this? You know, he's talking about their intimacy. And from what I hear, they were married at the time. He was married at the time. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. he was married at yeah. the time. Just some crazy. Then him and Fat Joe got into it about it. It just seems like now I know you expect that kind of thing from women, you know, like maybe I don't know. But I didn't expect men to do stuff like that, especially some 20 year old stuff. Uh, what did, what were your thoughts on that, Nisha? <laughs> I thought this is interesting coming from a 50 plus year old man. Yes. Like that's that's weird to me. Um some of the things that he was touching on like it, it it's just weird cuz I mean as Mona will probably say <laughs> cuz we've had these discussions before when I always be like but they they're insert age insert age and she'd be like Nisha I told you Age is just a number. It don't mean shit. It definitely But does. I just feel like it, it always shocks me when I see somebody that's supposed to be an elder, mm. you know, behaving like somebody in their 20s. And when I saw him running his mouth like a little bitch, mm-hmm. I, was, I was disappointed. I was just like, wow. Like, this girl ain't saying nothing. Nobody would have known. She's always kept that to herself. And here he come running his mouth. That's, that's the first thing that was on my mind. Yeah. So what exactly did he say? Well, he was basically bringing up their old history. And I don't know what st- what brought it about until later on as I read further um, that apparently he has some upcoming event coming up. So maybe he wanted to bring about uh, some controversy, maybe to get people to tune in. But basically he was just sharing how he busted her cheating. And it was where they he, he ran into Nellie. And her together at a basketball game. Is that correct? That's that's what I read. And uh, yes, I think he turned on the TV. Yeah, yeah. yes. He turned that's on the TV and saw them the at a game together. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he was on drink, drink champs, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And they were discussing about going on tour mm-hmm. and where they're going to have a shanti on. And instead of him just saying no and keeping it pushing, he decided to talk about their previous love relationship. Like you said earlier, uh, he was married. Mm -hmm. They were cheating. Mm -hmm. And like Nisha said, it's been quiet. Nobody would have never known. Mm -hmm. So he must be feeling some type of way about it still. What, 20-something years After later? Yes. all this time. And yes. whoever the host was of Drink Champs, I don't know who he was. Noriega. Okay, yeah. Noriega. Yeah. Right. He said, you feeling some type of way. And he mm-hmm. was like, nah, I'm not feeling no type of way. But he kind of said something about they had just finished having sex. And then he got in the shower. And, you know, after sex, you're all um, rejuvenated. <laughs> and he, he came up with the song, Happy. And yeah. yeah, he talked about that too. He did. Yeah. I just was surprised not, uh, more men didn't come out and just check him on it. Nah, most of the men was like, "Well, that's Herb Gotti. He's a weirdo. He's always been a weirdo." But it's, it's still, it's like it's when women do it. You know, people always be like, eh, "That's what y'all Messy. get for pillow talking. Mm-hmm. That's what y'all get. Mm-hmm. Y'all not supposed to gossip. That's very feminine." But he do it, and they just was like. And well, I take that back because Fat Joe did call him out on it. Yes, he did. And a few other people did say, like, that's messy, messy. Don't do that. We don't, men don't do that. But it's just, it's it's weird because to me, I just feel like, why, why now? Like, that girl, she never talks about that man. She's always just kind of just Brushed went away. on about her mm-hmm. business. And at the same time, how can you get mad at her for moving on? 
when your ass is married. Thank like, you. what? I, I just don't understand. Like, yes. you married, sir. What did you want her to do? And at that same time while this was going on, you was fighting a charge. Mm. You mm. fighting a charge. Yes. And somewhere uh, down the line where he was fighting a charge, she did say that he told her to go on ahead and get with another recording company. Yep. I think Irv Gotti is pissed off. And he kind of uh, alluded to it when he said that he can get over the relationship part, mm -hmm. but he couldn't get over her not staying loyal to the record company and proceeding to uh, come back after you know he was found out guilty of all the charges. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Yeah, kissing and telling is very, very, very messy yes. for a man. Um, Nisha and I was disclosing NDAs one time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it kind of seems like you have to yep. fill out an NDA. But here's my thing. If I have to ask you to fill out an NDA, then I probably shouldn't be talking to you in, in, the, in the first mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. So I, I give her much kudos for just with her being so much younger and handling it in such a classy way you know she's never been a girl with a lot of controversy attached to her and the fact that she even when this all came out you didn't hear a lot of you know she didn't try to defend herself one way or the other she's one of those girls that the truth speaks for itself you know what I mean and how are you how does she cheat she cheat on you when you're married mm -hmm. you know what I mean so it just really made him look stupid to me but as I read more about this major big um money-making docu-series that they have coming out about Murder, Inc., it makes sense that he would just start... Drama? Yeah, just throwing out little nuggets here and there to get people to tune in. So it makes more sense now why he would stoop that low. And I think although uh, he put it out there, he wants to kind of ruin her career moving forward. You know, try to put a little stain on her name. Mm. And because he kind of said that she hasn't been popular ever since she left Murder Inc. So, you know, let's add a little more fuel mm -hmm. to the fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 But see, but she, it, it's interesting because it's not like she's trying to. Ashanti's on tour. Ashanti's, you know, doing her thing. Doing yeah. her thing with her, with her music. She still produces for other people. A lot of music that we heard back in the 2000s from other, you know, artists, it came from her pen. So he's not really stopping her. The only thing he tried to do was embarrass her, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And if you claim, like he did on that, on Drink Champs, that he was over it, why are you still talking about something that happened a long time ago? Like I said, she don't even, when people interview her about um, Irv Gotti and about, um, Murder, Inc., she just talks about when she was with it. She talks about how she had to, you know, she's had to leave. She was, you know, she had no other option. And she's moved on. But she never, never speaks ill of anybody. Mm -hmm. She does look out, you know, for herself. She does look out for yes, getting her her um, her rights and all that stuff. And it's, it's just weird. It's like I... I don't know. When I see a man like that move that way to me, he just seems like a bitch. That's Major. just that's yeah. to me. And I don't call many men bitches, but he's one of them. Because mm -hmm. um, I I don't like it. I don't. Yeah. She was asking for her masters. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said that he shouldn't have to give her her masters is because he helped her write most of the songs, mm -hmm. and that's his property. And we seem to feel like the people that put you on should not have any type of property. Mm -hmm. And he's not really thinking about giving her her masters. And he got mad because she found the loophole that a lot of artists from the past are doing. They're just re-recording. Mm -hmm. And right. so that, yeah. that pissed him off too because she decided to start re-recording some of her stuff because once she re-records it, mm -hmm. she don't it's need a, yes. those right. masters. But he Smart did movie. something for the baby, baby, baby. He he did something about that. I can't oh. remember. But she can't get the right sound unless she uses those people. Oh, mm -hmm. And 
he won't allow her to use those people. So a little little back and forth. Petty. You know, petty exactly. Yeah. Very petty. He's a cancer, so you know oh. cancers can be I very mean, petty, petty and sensitive. Petty and, and sensitive. Sensitive, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Real petty. Cry yeah. baby a little mm-hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know the bit. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, I think I just, I just, and then it was ironic. The following day, was it the next? A couple of days later, after all of it broke, here she comes out on stage with Nelly. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. a little slap in his face, like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Nelly hasn't said anything either. No, nope. no, nope. he hasn't not said at anything all. either. Like, yeah. it, it's like, what's what's the whole point of bringing that up now? And I, how do you think his ex-wife feels? Exactly. Like you saying all this, you admitting it in that time that not only was you. Sleeping with this baby because she was a baby at the time in her twenties, sir. You also was cheating on your wife, and you mm. get mad because the girl decided to move on with hers. Is he really I, a cancer? Sound like one <laughs> to me. Yes, he is. <laughs> sound just like one to me. Wow, that's ironic. <laughs> but anyway, so um, in closing, I know we're keeping these. Okay, um, what would be your? What would you say to a man that? Moves like that. I, well, I, I'll say this to the women. Be careful who you deal with. Yeah. Um, I'm not a proponent of getting with someone that is married. Um, also, I do believe in NDAs. Like, I've had discussions in the past. I've learned from previous clients mm. that I've had to work with and um, seen how they move. That shit protects you so that you can't have situations like this happen. Um I noticed after a lot of people was kind of advising her to um, send out a cease and desist letter, get an attorney cease, to send yeah. out a cease and desist. Judge Joe Mathis suggested mm-hmm. that. Wow. I noticed. I noticed once that started to fly out, he stopped talking. So um, don't put yourself in a position where you have to, um, where you have to be kind of where you. There's a risk that you could be put on blast for something that you know that you're probably not proud of. Um, I think she's smart that she hasn't really publicly addressed mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. She's kind of just, you know, been quiet. So is Nelly, quiet. They're just like letting him just set himself up for failure because mm-hmm. he's the only one that looks immature right now. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, we did a we we did an episode that release that that has been seen by you know many. Uh, stop fucking with these old iggas. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> move smarter because mm, some mm, of these mm. old iggas are immature. They are yeah. not and as mature feelings. as you think they are. And um, do what's best for you, but cover yourself. I get you an NDA so you don't have situations like this that happens. That's just my thought. Me? And you, Mo? Uh, sneaky links are supposed to be sneaky. <laughs> Nobody is supposed to know but you and the person that you're involved with. Mm-hmm. And if you are married and you're dating someone that is single, that person absolutely has the right to move on whenever they want to. Uh, be careful about choosing men who think uh, getting a notch on their belt sexually and going out and speaking about it, you know, um, they think they have penis power. Be mm. careful of those types of men that just think with their penises and, like I said, think that's some type of power where they're bragging about their sexual escapades. You want to get with an adult man. And for you ladies that are getting into the music industry, <clears throat> red flag when they want to sleep with you. Move on. Go somewhere else. I know you be excited and you want to get your career popping in this one little time. You might say, yeah, but, you know, that's not a start of a good relationship with any type of record company. So stay away from them dudes. That's my final thought. And my final thought is simply this. When you do come across that you're dealing with this type of low-life type nigga that's just going to put your business out there, make sure that you move in the most classiest way ever. Make sure your circle and the people you surround you with are going to keep you in that place because it's easy to want to go back and forth with somebody. But I, the truth will speak for itself. You don't have to be out there looking crazy and ratchet and anything else. Um, I think that's what I think I loved about the whole thing. It's just the way she has always carried herself in these type of situations. So yeah. if nothing further. That's it. That's hey, it. that's it. Thank like, you. share, subscribe. Exactly. Leave us a comment. BGP. And we're out.
Deuces. Bye. <laughs>